My dad got down on his knees. He reached forward and put his hand on my shoulder. Me and your mom, he said. As his face scrunched up, looking for the right word, he said. I looked at my mom, who sat quietly in the corner, all watery and teary. You're getting divorced, I said. Whoa, 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 you're not getting a divorce, my dad said. He glanced at my mom, but she didn't notice. She was just staring at me, all in tears. Things aren't great between me and your mom, he said. So I'm gonna be in a dark house for a while. He ruffled my hair and gave me everything's going to be okay, smile. And I gave my I believe you, smile. I thought it's some sort of expression. You know, when somebody says they are head over heels or the shit a brick. But I was wrong. My dad actually went into the dark house with a lamp, a blanket and a magazine. When I told him I thought it's just an expression, he laughed at me and said, I'm too young to understand. A garden was long and the dog house was at the bottom. My dad built it himself for two of our dogs, Limbu and Chelsea, and now he's moving in with them. I remember when my dad built the dog house, we argued that it's too big for those two dogs. And I also remember Limbu peeking his head out and looking at my dad, wiggling his tail. Every time I come back from school, I imagine them dressed up in a dressing gown, having coffee in their hands, telling I love you. Two months passed, but things weren't great. Since he'd been out there, he moved in a few things. A sofa, a mini TV, a fridge, a box of his clothes, small bookshelf, a lamp, teapot, biscuits, his dumbbells, his whiskey, insect killer, and a poster of Ernest Hemingway. And while making room for all of his stuff, he pushed Limbo and Chelsea back in the corner. Although he couldn't stand straight into the room, but he felt comfortable and cozy. However, my mom wasn't taking it so well. She get up, clean the house and go to work. But everything she did, I look at her and her face is always red and teary. I made some tea for my mom and went to her room just to check on her. I found her standing in the window looking at the light and then she said, they can be messy, can't they? These things we have. The next day, when I got home from school, I heard laughter. I threw my back down on the ground to see what's going on. I went to the kitchen. My mom was there with Limbu, talking about her day, gossiping all this stuff that she used to do with my dad. And Limbu was rolling around on the floor. I gave him a belly rub and he peed a little bit. He looked at me with his sweet little black eyes and my mom giggled while she wiped it. That night, Limbu slept with my mom on her bed. She spooned up on him. She was happy to have something there to cuddle. Limbu seemed happy enough to sleep on a memory foam mattress. <laughs> my dad was still in the dog house with Chelsea. And then one day my, my dad suggested that we should go on a double date with the dogs. And it seemed everything went well because they planned that they should, they should do this more often. And now Christmas is around the corner. You know, it's a happy holiday. Christmas is the only time when my parents let Chelsea and Limbu into the front, front room and we always wrapped gifts for them. My mom said this year would be the same and she led my dad and Chelsea into the room. We opened up presents, drank some fizzers, played some games and of course crackers. I was having my Christmas dinner and Doc was having their, their food and chewing up on the wrappings and stuff. Like every Christmas, it just went very quick. I went to the bed that night leaving the four of them laughing and barking in the room. I was happy. <laughs> Next day when I woke up, the house was quiet. I dressed up and went down for warm milk. The living room was a mess. I saw half-eaten buffet food, near empty wine bottles and even chewed up bones. So I warmed up my milk and went to my mom's room, but she wasn't there. Instead, Chelsea and Limbo were on the bed. Looks like they made out last night. Morning, I said, all confused, scratching my head. Chelsea came down from the bed, showing her affection. I went up to the bedroom window and looked down the garden. I sipped my warm milk and I smiled. Because the doghouse light was on.